to International Service of Human Rights. Thank you, Mr. President. The general debate at recent Council sessions under Item 6 has witnessed much praise of the UPR process. In many, although not all, cases this is merited, as we have seen reviews where political will has allowed states to affirm their commitment to contributing to the UPR's primary objective of improving the situation of human rights on the ground. However, ISHR would like to draw attention to the responsibilities of states as members of the Working Group and of the Human Rights Council and particularly the perception by a majority of states of their responsibilities in providing recommendations. As ISHR has previously highlighted, a number of states continue to make recommendations that run contrary to treaty body obligations of the state under review, do not comply with international law, or contribute nothing to meeting the objectives of the UPR. ISHR calls on the President of the Council to issue a statement reminding states of their obligations to issue recommendations in accordance with the basis of the review, as clearly stipulated in paragraph 1 of Council Resolution 5-1. ISHR has also taken note of the worrying practice of states to perceive their responsibility in the UPR process as ending at the point of making recommendations. This approach severely undermines the ability of the UPR to improve the situation of human rights on the ground, as many states under review have neglected to update the Council of their position on outstanding recommendations. ISHR calls on states to ensure that states under review provide clear responses to all pending recommendations in accordance with the institution building text. The task of real follow-up, meeting the primary objective of the UPR, should not be left to NGOs, but is the responsibility of the Human Rights Council as a whole. Thank you, Mr. President.